Dobriden, Irina. Hello and Happy New Year to you from Boston. It is such a pleasure to have this opportunity to chat with you a little bit and hopefully get to know me a little bit more and to get to know you. My name is Karen Coleman. My mom came from Germany in the early 1950s from a town called Bremen. We actually visited there this past month for the Christmas markets and it was beautiful and it was wonderful to be back there again. I do speak German and I'm 62 years old and I'm married. My husband's name is Ron Coleman and we've been together now for 33 years married and 38 years together. Uh, I am uh, the mother of two boys, although they're now men. Uh, one is Nicholas and he's 30. And my other son, Christopher, is 26 years old. Uh, this past year, um, my son Nicholas had a little girl, four months ago actually. Her name is Sophie Alexandra and she is adorable. So that makes me what I would say here, or as to keep the German tradition, an Omi. And of course, for you over there, it would be a Babusha. Babusia. A babusia. Yep. So I'm very excited to be a Babusia. <laughs> and I wanted to keep that German tradition, as I mentioned, to be Omi. Um, so I am, and my one son that has the baby, is fortunately nearby, uh, about 30 minutes from here, so I get to see her from time to time, which is wonderful. My other son lives in North Carolina, and he has moved there uh, this a few years ago, so it is uh, exciting to have him down there because I went to school in North Carolina too and have a lot of friends down there. Karen, could I interrupt for one second? Yeah. Could you spell your first and last name? Yes, so Karen, K A R. E N and Coleman C O L E M A N. And Karen, could you spell your uh, maiden name? My maiden name was Thompson, Karen Thompson, and Thompson was spelled T H O M P S O N. And when I was a little girl, my mother spoke German to me, so when I went to kindergarten and was asked how to say the ABCs, I knew them better in German, ABC. And apparently the kids laughed and I came home and cried. <laughs> so my mom said, Schluss, that's it. Now we're just going to speak English because she wanted to learn better English too. Um, so now um, I, for many years I was a mommy, stay-at-home mom, and was a photographer. Prior to that I worked in investments. Um, and I used to take photographs of weddings and bar mitzvahs and portraits and so forth and I did that for about 15 years and about uh, 18 years ago had the opportunity to have the job that I have now uh, which is providing financing for small businesses. It started out for restaurants but now we help doctors practices and manufacturing businesses, liquor stores, retail, all different types of businesses get financing and we do it by partnering with banks and instead of a traditional bank where it might take mm, a month or two uh, for us we can get it to them pretty quickly within about a week's time frame but it's expensive but you get what you pay for <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, so that's my a uh, little bit of my history on where I have worked and um, my sister, I don't really have any nicknames. Sometimes people in school used to call me KT for my initials. Sometimes now people call me KC. Um, actually, it's my old high school friends that called me KT that now call me KC. Uh, but the only other nickname I have is from my sister, and she calls me Kiwi. And the reason she calls me Kiwi is we were in Germany many, many years ago, and the fruit, Kiwi, came out, and I'd never had that before. And I loved it so much that she just called, start calling me Kiwi Kiwi. And now I call her, her name's Sharon. So you can imagine as we grew up, Karen and Sharon rhyming, but now we call each other Kiwi and Chiwi. <laughs> so those are our fun sister nicknames. Um, 
And what I love in looking at your beautiful pictures, um, Adam showed me your pictures and you are absolutely beautiful. I'd say you were quite the cutie pie. Uh, if my boys were not currently with girls, I would say they're available. <laughs> but I'm sure if you ever came to this country, you wouldn't have any problem because you're absolutely adorable. Um, I'm wondering in your pictures, it looks like you like to hike. Uh, or you're in the mountains. I love to hike, so I'm just wondering if you like to hike too. And you had a, a kind of a fun pose. Is that yoga? Do you do yoga or any type of exercising? I'd love to know about what you do for exercising. And those mountains are spectacular. I'm wondering where those are. Are those in the Ukraine? And then I also noticed my son has a chocolate lab named Teddy who is like my first grandchild, except of course he's a grand puppy. He's two years old and I wanted to know about your black lab and whether or not uh, you were celebrating a birthday because I noticed there was a crown on her head. So would love to know about the story of that and what your dog's name is. And um, I wish you a wonderful new year and would love to have any other questions come back my way too. And it's wonderful to have this opportunity to meet you. And in German, we would say Prost. In uh, the United States, we say cheers. So I wish you a wonderful year ahead and look forward to the opportunity to perhaps meet you in person someday. Thanks so much, Karen. Thank you.